When making gnocchi, temperature and quantity of ingredients are important. So make sure that you have your measurements just right. This is how I do it. Take a baking tray and spread a layer of rock salt on top. Place the potatoes on the salt and bake in a preheated oven on 180 degrees Celsius for 35 to 40 minutes or until the potatoes are tender. Salt baking is a technique often applied to fish. It works well with potatoes as well. It extracts the excess moisture and allows the earthy flavor of the potato to come to the fore. Also for making potato gnocchi, it's imperative to get rid of as much moisture as possible. After the potatoes are baked, scoop out the soft flesh bits into a bowl while it's still hot. You can discard the skins. Now mash it. Add the flour and egg yolks, a pinch of grated nutmeg, parmesan and a good pinch of salt to the mash. Mix it all together until it's well combined. To get a really nice texture for your gnocchi, it's important to mix all the ingredients together while the potato is still fairly warm. And make sure that you don't over mix the dough because this will result in a rubbery gnocchi. And that's never good. Now bring it all together and place the dough on top of the bench with a bit of flour and knead it a little until it's nice and smooth. Now gnocchi can be made in any shape. I'm gonna roll it up into a sausage which allows me to cut it into coin shapes and it's much easier later to crisp up. Sprinkle some flour onto a flat surface and roll the dough into a sausage shape, approximately two centimeters in diameter. Place it in the fridge and let it rest for 20 minutes. Now cut the roll into two centimeter pieces. Take a large saucepan of salted water and bring to the boil. Add the gnocchi and cook in batches for one to two minutes or until they rise to the surface. Remove the gnocchi with a slotted spoon and place it on a tray. Now, mix some olive oil with the gnocchi to keep it from sticking together and keep it aside. Great, now for the pumpkin. All these recipes are on our website, so if you feel you've missed something, no stress. Bring some water to the boil in a pot and add salt. Blanch the diced pumpkin for five minutes and remove from the water. Allow it to drain on kitchen paper. Next, add some light olive oil and unsalted butter in a large pan. Add the pumpkin. Season with some salt and pepper. Now cook it over medium heat for eight to 10 minutes while stirring occasionally. When the pumpkin starts to caramelize, remove it from the pan and set it aside until later. Now to make this dish more substantial, I'm serving it with oven roasted mushrooms and gorgonzola. Start by placing the sliced mushroom onto a tray. Top it with slices of gorgonzola, fresh thyme, black pepper, and drizzle with some olive oil. Grate some lime zest and roast it in the oven that's preheated to 180 degrees Celsius for in between 10 to 12 minutes. Keep it aside until later. Now I'm going to start combining the gnocchi with the pumpkin. Reheat the pumpkin in the oven for about 10 minutes. Then fry the gnocchi in a pan with olive oil and butter until crispy. Remove onto kitchen paper to drain the excess oil. Then fry the sage and set aside. Now all that's left to do is to plate this dish up. 
Serve the mushrooms on top of the gnocchi and the pumpkin. Fresh garnish. Drizzle with some nutty leftover butter. Finish off with a sage and some grated parmesan. And why not serve it with a white wine sauce? The recipe for the wine sauce is available on our website. This looks good and it smells fantastic.